All right, guys, what's happening, man? What's happening? We do a, what we're doing a, a watch along to Shamar Nicholson. Good day to you all, guys. Good day to you all. We're doing another reggae boy watch along. Is that Shamar Nicholson who was just on the ball a while ago holding up play? Nicholson a flop. <laughs> Travis, bless up, man. Thanks for being here. All right, guys. So it's four minutes into this one. Shamar Nicholson, Charlawa versus Zulta Waragem. You know, Shamar Nicholson is starting up front for Charlawa or Reggae Boy, as per usual. Wara game is on the attack now. Ball post just played into the box, but it was cleared out. Nicholson on the ball now. Good link up play with his midfielder. Nicholson back on the ball again. Takes a shot from about 20 plus yards out, but it was blocked by the Warragamen defender. Nicholson 
I'm seeing some into an action here now. War game played across into the box, but it was cleared by the Charlotte defense. I soon get to the comments in just a second. Oh, excellent through ball to the Charlotte center forward. His first touch, you know, took him a bit wide. You know, and the, the angle was tight. It was a counter attack from Charlotte and the angle was tight. And, you know, the keeper saved it comfortably, but it goes out for a corner. So it's a corner kick now for Charlotte. War again managed to hit that one clear. War game with a cross in the box down the right hand side of the attacking third. But Charlotte managed to clear it for a corner. This is end to end action, guys. End to end action in the first 10 minutes of this one. Corner kick now for Zulta War again. They take it short. Taking a while to get the cross into the box. They finally get it into the box, but it's a poor one. But it does, well, it did meet a, a War again play on the edge of the box, but finally Charlotte get it away. Nicholson making the run forward. Wargeman a dangerous counter attack now. However, Charlotte get back numbers. So Charlotte had a numerical advantage on that counter attack. Three versus two. So they managed to deal with it pretty comfortably.
Her ball is now out for a Charlawa goal kick. All right, guys, thanks for being here. Yeah, man, sorry it took a little while to get to your comments. Tennessee, big up, boss. Thanks for being here, man. Yeah, I've just gotten to, to your comments now. Big up, Tennessee. Big up, big up. One, one, my boss. Tennessee, so one, one, I big you up there. The Formula Sports game start. Yeah, man, it start, man. 13 minutes on my clock. Yeah, man, wants the Tennessee are big up back there. Ooh, cross into the box from Wool Tower again. Left side of the attacking third, but Charlotte got it away. Man United is now one, one versus uh, one all. Yeah, man, I forgot to watch the replay of that match, the man. Because we're watching Shamar Nicholson right now. And I know you guys are watching. Are you guys are probably watching the bigger games in the EPL but listening to, to, to this as well? So big up guys. Nicholson I look, yeah man. Nicholson playing well so far. Question mark. It not look too bad. A couple of touches in the game. He has done alright so far. He has done alright so far. Boza can't dominate Belgian Belgium league man so inconsistent. You know what it is, Travis? If Boza just improved his finishing in a man, he'd be a 20 plus goal a season player in the Belgian Pro League easily, you know. The problem with, with, with Nicholson is that his finishing is so poor. I got the notification of the video starting. But not the usual 30 minutes warning at the formula sport. Um, what happened? I didn't I didn't put up the video. The 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 wait I said the link to the video or I didn't really put up the video um 30 minutes before, so you would not have gotten the 30 minute warning. Nicholson would have run at the far post. Mercy. Guys, um, Charlotte I nearly scored a while ago. Charlotte hit the post. Oh, well, the bar they meet. The near post. Right, but the defender got it away. But cleared it only as far to a, a Charlotte player making a late run into the box. And really and truly, he should have scored from there. It was basically an empty goal. He should have scored from there. Guys, smash the like button, guys. 
free and easy way to support the channel. Sancho just came on. Okay, cool. We inspire how Boza looks so far. Him look, him look all right. Yeah, he has had good involvement in this one so far in the first 16 minutes. This, this match is kind of a bit end to end. Ooh, I shall have a, I shall have a player just dash here. Ah, uh, or a game player. <laughs> Travis, that's true. I think he lost his confidence. And you know, in the last two games, he made the post, though. I'm just watching this with Man United in the background. Oh, eh. Even Maggie, he need to be playing at his club. They don't rate him still. He need to leave Craig Butler as a joker. <laughs> Travis, go easy now, man. You just, I mean. <sighs> Let's give Maggie some time. Who known Travis at Travis Fox? I think he has it in him, but he needs to do a lot of work on his finishing. Dealsworth, big up, boss. Thanks for being here. Yeah, man, big up, Dealsworth. Who knows, sir? A Travis Maggie made the bench for the first time yesterday, but he didn't come on. Hopefully, he can get in the team. If not, then he needs to leave on loan. Yeah, I agree. Where can I watch it? All right, you can watch it on, on sportsbay.org. Ooh, Charlotte will take the lead, guys. 1-0. A, a horrible back pass from the war again. Defender. A horrible back pass and the Charlotte player intercepted it, rounded the keeper and put it in the back of the net. Charlotte has taken the lead, guys. Charlotte has taken the lead. So Leon dominate Belgium League and cut. <laughs> Leon is a next level talent, though. A back pass from hell is what they would normally say. <laughs> and he got there before the keeper and rounded the keeper. Shame those countries don't forward a yard and get more players. True. True, Travis, true. Jairus, big up, boss. As you, ju as you jump on, on the stream, so Charlotte will take the lead. Smash the like button, guys. By the way, I want to, to apologize to you guys. Um, You guys haven't seen me do many watch-alongs this week. You know, I did intend to do watch-alongs this week, but for varying reasons, you know, it didn't happen. You know, including yesterday as well. I had planned to do a watch along to Brentford yesterday. You know, and prepared for it and everything, but I had some last minute technical issues, so I didn't bother to go ahead with it. All right, guys, it's one nil 20 minutes into this one. Shamar Nicholson on the ball. Nicholson did well. Got out of trouble there and, and, and got it to a teammate. Wait, hold on. Nicholson on the ground, you know, guys. Nicholson look like him pick up a, 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 a little knock. He's holding his shoulder. Nicholson holding his shoulder, guys. Nicholson holding his shoulder on the ground. And he had a collision with a Warragam player.
Well, he's off the ground now. Still holding his shoulder. Yeah, you see, he looks like he's okay now. But that was a little bit concerning. So he's off the ground now. Yeah, my Nicholson is okay now. He's off the ground. Kiss me teeth. Me want man you to lose even though I'm aside. Why? Man you start to dominate now. Why do I want man you to lose even though I'm aside, Travis? At one on real talk, man not playing can't give these views rating and them not even playing. Good for their clubs, Joe think JFF need to raise the bar higher, yeah man. Give 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 um give Maggie some time though. Let's see what happens in the comp Nicholson with the run. Or oh, the pass was a little bit, it was an attempted, you know, balling behind the Waragamen Waragam rather defense. Nicholson was trying to get an on the end of it, but it was overheat. Cross into the box from um, Waragam. Goes out for a goal kick. All right, guys. Charlo was surviving a very near miss a while ago. Very near miss. They got it away, though. But only for a corner kick. It's now a goal kick, guys.
question, just a question. If Andre Blick is so good, how come he can't even get into Belgium? It's not about can't even get, you know. Clubs have been, from my understanding of it, if memory serves me right in a Jairus, clubs have bid for Blakey you know, and, you know, the club um, union would have deemed the bid not big enough. So it's not that, I mean, European clubs have, have, have attempted to, to sign Blake, you know. European clubs have attempted to sign Blake. Nicholson on the ball now. Almost successfully completed the pass. It was a good idea, but it was intercepted. Yeah, clubs have cl clubs have 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 tried to get Andre Blake. You know, but I mean, there was a point in time where one of the issues was that the, well, the team was from England. The team that won, the club was from England, the club that wanted Blake. And, you know, to have signed him at that time, they would have needed to have forked out um, £10 million. Right? Because the player was not playing for a team that was in the top 50 ranked in the world. He was not playing for a national team that was in the top 50 ranked in the world. You guys know that rule already. So, and the team was not prepared. The English Premier League team was not prepared to fork out the 10 million pounds for him. So, there have been, there have been different issues why he has not gotten into, into, into Europe. But the fact of the matter is, Andre Blake is a very good keeper, Jairus. Especially at shot stopping, he's an excellent shot stopper. Excellent shot stopper. Excellent shot stopper. Still needs to work on stuff like his distribution. You know, that, that still needs to improve. Other little things as well can improve as well. But he is a very good goalkeeper in particular. Very good reflexes. And, and, and Andre Blake definitely belongs. Definitely belongs in Europe. If you are winning MLS goalkeeper of the year, you definitely belong in a top five league in Europe. Definitely. And he has won it more than once as well. So. And has consistently been one of the best goalkeepers in the MLS. Guys, smash the like button. I think his long throws are good and he kicks quite accurately as well. Blake is one of the best goalkeepers in the world. Even Alexi Lalas admitted that on TV. Best goalkeepers in the world, that kind of. I mean, look, I think he's second best in CONCACAF. That I, I mean, you know, that I subscribe to, I think he's second best in CONCACAF. So he's, the, he's second best in an entire confederation. I don't know about the world, though. There are a lot of good goalkeepers. All around the world, especially in Europe and South America. All right, Charlotte are trying to see out this um, period of pressure. You know, ever since Charlotte took the lead, you know, um, Waragem has been fighting desperately to try and get back into it. Half an hour gone into this one, guys. Charlotte are leading 1-0. What's taking place with good attempted layoff pass there from Nicholson? Unfortunately, he and his teammate was not on the same page.
You guys know what's taking place with Rangers? Rangers is playing as well too, you know. Let me see if I can get eyes on Rangers. All right, that was a cross into the box that was cleared away. So Charlotte was just in Warrior Games attacking third. Rangers are leading 2-0 over Ross County. Kima Roof is on the bench in this one. So the defending Scottish we hold on Nicholson on the ball, lays it off to a teammate. Nicholson dropped into the hole on that particular play. Charlotte needs to improve their link up play in the attacking third. It has not been crisp, it has not been smooth. Yeah, man, so the defending Scottish champions are currently, uh, you know, on top in their encounter. Cross into the box from the Wara Games right attacking side, uh, right side of the attacking third, but it went straight to the keeper. By the way, guys, I know many of you would have been excited yesterday to see to see um Tyreek McGee on the bench for, for you pen Nicholson on the ball now poor 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 touch from Nicholson poor touch from Nicholson gave away possession war again in transition Good cut back cross. Ooh. Shot from about 20 yards out. It wasn't the I did, I don't think he caught it as well as he would have liked, but Charlotte's keeper still had to come up with the save. At one one, I'm just trying to find out why he's still in the MLS. Yeah, man, clubs have been interested in him in Ajeros, but for whatever reason. Also, it kind of, you see the thing with the MLS, I'm not to understand how it, it operates. From my understanding of it, you know. You know what, let me do more research into it before I say it. But from my understanding of it, from a transfer, from a transfer, not even from a transfer, just from a monetary standpoint, the league is run very differently than most leagues in, in, in the world. So it's not the easiest to, to, to buy, it's not the easiest league to buy a player from. But you know, when the European clubs come for the American talent, they're going to put them on a plane quick and fast. Because <laughs> they want to get them into Europe for the player, for the American players to get exposure and also when they go to Europe and do well, right? It improves the MLS standing. Ooh, guys, Warrior Game have equalized. Cross from the right-hand side of War Games attacking third, right? And the player, that was a good flick on at the near post. If I'm not mistaken, it was on the half volley as well. And War Game have equalized. Yep, on the half volley, good flick on. 
at the near post. Good near post run from the striker, man. Got on the wrong side of the center back. Good flick on keeper was beaten at his far post. War game are back in it, guys. I don't think there's a lot of goalkeeper in the world that are better. In my opinion, it's not easy for me to name 20. Hmm? You think so, one one? Mm. Well, I mean, as I say, he is second best in an entire confederation, in most people's opinion. Even though our confederation is not the strongest. Charlotte on the attack tries to get the cross into the box. Nicholson did not get on the right side of his center back. And the centre back was able to clear it. J. Ross, I don't know, but I think that ship has sailed now. Same as it has for low. Moves have to happen when you are young enough. No one wants a 30 year old that has never played at a high level. MLS is a high level one one. I think for goalkeepers, I, I'm, I'm not going to say, I think the ship is sailing for Blake. But I don't think it has sailed fully. But I do think it is sailing. But him can still him can still jump on board, man. Because remember, you know, goalkeepers are 30 years old, you know. Um, Andre Blake is 30 years old, and you know, for a goalkeeper, that's not that's not really old. I mean it's not young either, but it's not old. I wouldn't say, all right, Charlotte won the ball, trying to get in transition, won the ball with a high press. Oh, but where again players crowded them out and, you know, had the numerical advantage and retrieved possession. Oh, but a, a terrible, ooh, all right, so a, a bad pass from the war game player to his teammate and Charlotte. One possession again and we're heading in transition, but the Charlotte player was fouled. Yeah, man, one, one. Mood, I think the ship is sailing, one. I think the ship is sailing, but I wouldn't, I, I personally don't think it has, that, that was a tactical foul, by the way, what they call a tactical foul. But yeah, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say the, the ship has fully sailed as yet, to be honest with you. I don't think Maggie should leave his club. He should stay and fight for his place. Belgium is the close to the top leagues in Europe and he is in the first team now. So he should fight. Yes, Andre Williams. That's not a bad point, you know. But I'm going to... I might do a video on this, though. I might do a video on this. Because there might be a reason why I think he should leave. But I'm going to do more research into it and get back to you guys. Ooh. The Charlotte player, Mr. Sita. Charlotte seem to have a problem converting their chances, you know. Charlotte never have an issue creating chances, you know. It's always conversion because this player was in the box free. He was in acres of space at the back post and across. You know, to the back post and he met it on the half valley. And first of all, he could have taken a first touch. He could have taken a touch. He didn't have to hit it one time. But he skied it. And that really and truly was a sitter. That should have at the very least have been on target. You are free in the box a couple of yards out from goal. I mean, it was shocking defending from Waragem. The guy was totally unmarked at the back post. This has been a good tussle in the midfield so far, do you know? Good tussle in the midfield. And we have seen chances at both ends from, from both teams. 41 minutes into this one. It's one all between Charlotte and Warragame. 
Zulta were game. Initially, Shamar Nicholson's team would have taken the lead, but war game would have hit back. Nicholson has Nicholson started well, but his last couple of touches on the ball have not been as effective as his earlier ones. You know, the ones that he had earlier on in the game. In swinging corner and Charlotte would have dealt with it. Trying to get the goalkeeper, the Charlotte goalkeeper, trying to get his team going in transition. The winner foul just past the half line. It was a good throw to from the keeper. Good throw. Um, yeah, but yeah, I'm going, Andre, I'm going to do a little bit more digging into it. Because I think there might be a reason why you and I might want him to leave but i'm gonna do a, a li little bit more research i'm gonna do some research on it but it's good that he has it's very good that he has squeezed himself into the first team you know but we, we obviously don't want him sitting on the bench and rubbing bench you know we really want him to get some game time so Step one has been complete. He has gotten into, and that's very good to, you know, to get into a Belgian Pro League team. You know, it that, that's no easy feat at all. So, you know, congratulations to Tariq McGee where that is concerned. I would swap both of Arsenal's goalkeepers are Blake. I'm an Arsenal fan and I trust Blake much more than both. <laughs> All right, well, I do know say you're an Arsenal fan, one. Forty-three minutes into this one, war again probing, looking for an opening, switching the play, cross into the box from deep. Woo. Keeper had to end up erring on the side of caution and tipping it over the bar. BM says Shaman Nicholson need to step it up. I would hate to see him go backwards in his career. He is one of my favorite Jamaican players. I mean, Shaman Nicholson is a very good raw talent with considerable upside, but he does have some work to do in terms of sharpening up on his technical ability. I think one day we'll see Shamar in the French League one or in the Bundesliga. I think it's some way off now, though. I think the very first thing that he needs to work on is obviously his finishing, man. It is dreadful. If he works on his finishing and improves, he could easily be a 20-plus goals a season player in Belgium. Um... Yeah, he can stay and fight, but if January comes and he's not playing, he needs a loan move. He's losing out on development by sitting down and playing reserve league. So I agree, one. I agree. I agree. Charlotte. On the attack in War Games, defensive third, throwing near the corner flag. This game has been played at a good tempo. Shamar Nicholson with the ball at his feet in the box. Again, the layoff was not the best. Trying to lay it off our teammate to take the shot. Good idea, but... Yeah, Shamar, Shamar, based on his body shape a while ago, he did not have a positive body shape. And so he was not facing goals, so he was trying to lay it off for a teammate. Good idea about poor execution. Guys, it's it's uh, it's half time. It's one all, guys. It's half time and it's one all. Let me read you. Yeah, man, half time, guys, and it's one all. Bring up some of the, 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 the comments. 
won't say, won't won't say, yes, I do at the Formula Sports on paper. They are a lot better, but in terms of ability, it's hard to name 24 me. Okay. You rate Blake very highly than one. I mean, I'm not, I'm not disagreeing with you. But that, that, that's, that's a big thing to say of a player struggle to name 20 players in the world better than him in his respective position. That means if the player in a world class, the man was world class in a one. Otis here, Otis Jackson, big up boss. Add you. Oh, you want to come on? Otis, let me know in the comment section if you're still in the chat. Just let me know in the comment section if you're still in the chat. And I will drop the link for you to come on. MLS is not great and is not respected in Europe, mostly importantly. So clubs will see it as taking a risk on a man playing Bush League. Clubs will do it for younger players that have development time. Fair point, one fear. Fair point. But I, I do think that the perception of the MLS is changing, though, you know. I think the per I think the perception of the MLS is changing. I personally think that. I think I think clubs in Europe are seeing the MLS a little bit differently now. Nicholson have any chances yet? Um no, not any real chances. Not any real chances. Not any real chances. Guys, give me one second. Give me one second. Yeah, man. So, guys, it's half time, guys. It's half time in our watch along. It is half time, one all with both teams. Um, let me see what other reggae boys. I think it's only one other reggae boy right now in action. I think it's only one other reggae boy right now in action, and that is Kima Roof. So, guys, it's 2-1 now. Apparently, Ross County has gotten one back. And it's basically almost halftime in their game as well. By the way, you know who else played today as well? Peter McGregor played today as well, you know, guys. Peter McGregor played today as well, you know. But he came off the bench. He came off the bench and, you know, came off the bench. Uh, he came McGregor doing you know, it, but I'm a little bit concerned. He hasn't been starting for the club that he's at. He has not been starting for the club that he is at. So I'm watching Peter McGregor. All right, guys, so it's half time. 
it is half time over in Belgium and we are waiting for the JT should be very concerned I mean by that J Taylor should be very concerned you have to clarify that one my boss yeah man big up J Taylor big up big up yeah man guys so it's half time right now in Belgium you know again let me apologize to you guys I haven't done a watch along I don't think I've done a watch along this week so far right for varying reasons I did intend to do watch alongs but you know for whatever reason it just never worked out you know so I have to apologize to you guys for that one Yeah man, currently one all right now in, in Belgium. I soon look at Premier League results as well earlier today. By the way, guys, what you guys thought of did you guys watch the Ethan Pinnock game yesterday? I planned on doing a, a watch along to that as well, you know, and it just never worked out. Never worked out at all. Never worked out at all. Who will win the match? This match, you know, this match right now that we're doing the watch along to. It's 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 very even evenly poised right now, you know. It's hard to pick a winner right now in a boss, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, man, Taylor, so you won't want to big you up there. Eh? Yeah, man, and Taylor, big up everybody, including one. With the player, should should we be con very concerned with the player, with, with Nicholson? In terms of, what do you mean by that, Taylor? Concerned with concern regarding what him as a player personally or his inclusion in the national setup. Man United finished one all. Let me, let me look on the, the, the scores quick and fast. For the, the English Premier League. Yeah, man, guys, hit me up and let me know what you think about um Mr. Pinnock's performance yesterday and Ivan Tony as well, who is a prospective reggae boy. You know, I think I think one day, one day, I think one day, one day, Ivan Tony will become a reggae boy. You know? I just have a good feeling. Yeah, man, man, you finished one all with Southampton. Did our prospective reggae boys play? Because I forgot to watch all, the, all them match there. I forgot to watch them back. I mean, in terms of watch them on the replay. Let me see the lineups. Um, so, neither, by the way, Neither of the, the whether Redman or Walker Peters, none of them have been have been starting. From what I saw, for if I'm if memory serves me right, they didn't start in the first game either. If memory serves me right. Yo, Nicholson start the game, boss. Yeah, man. That's all, man. That's the first thing, man, man, want for knowing if, Nick, if the player them start. Man, you couldn't clinch the win. The real shooter is here. Shooter Guna. Big up, boss. Big up. Truth be told, Formula Cast Upen style of play does not suit Maggie. They play counter attacking football and rarely keeps the ball. 
you know andre i'm gonna i'm gonna look into all of those things because you might be onto something them club outside yesterday do you know them club outside four nil yesterday you know i have to, I have to watch the team a little bit more and the, if memory serves me right, they were leading 4 0 yesterday. And I thought that I would have seen. I thought that I would have seen, you know, them bring on the young player in the latter stages of the game, but it never happened at all. Yeah, so I have, to, I have to look into all of those things more. But I was a little bit surprised that they were up 4 0. Normally, when a team is leading 4 0, if memory serves me right, they were leading 4 0. Normally, a team leading like that, them normally sets a bomb and bring on the young player. You know, and give him a, a 10 15 minute run out. But they didn't do that. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm a Nicholson fan in a Taylor. I'm a Nicholson fan. I am a Nicholson fan, but the player does have a lot of improvement to 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 undertake. I think this might be his last season in Europe. Why do you think that Taylor? No, sir. I agree with that one, the Taylor. Why do you think so? I forgot to explain that one, the Taylor. Is 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 Maggie or, 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 or Maggie or, or Nicholson you're talking? If it's if it's either, I wouldn't agree. So Taylor, you not tell me the JFS squad. No man, Taylor not drop the JFS squad. Not for my channel. <laughs> I I don't think it is. I mean, look, I know you guys are, I know you guys are, I know you guys are eager to see the squad, but I don't think, well, Taylor can drop it if he want, but I don't think it's the prerogative of YouTubers to be announced in the squad. That's just me personally, right? I have seen it as well and from an individual that I deem to be credible and I know he you know he knows what's taking place. But I personally and I've I've received squads in the past, you know, like Gold Cup squads and all of them things about I don't I would never you know drop the squad. I don't think it's it's our place as YouTubers to be dropping the squad. That's just me personally. I think that should be the job of the JFF. Even though you guys might argue that, you know, JFF taking too long. Have other World Cup squads been dropped as yet though, guys? Have other nations dropped their World Cup squads? Let me know if other nations have dropped their, their World Cup squads. The World Cup qualifying squads. Guys, this game is about to get back on the way. I didn't watch it for last push. Pinnock didn't make a tackle apparently. He's well protected in the Brentford system, so his job is being made easy for him. Yeah, you know, um hold on, this one has gotten back on the way. All right, by the way, guys, Charlotte was kicking from left to right in the first half. No, they're kicking from, they're attacking from right to left. Where again? In the attacking third, early in the early stages of the of the second half. 
crossed into the box, but it was overheat and went over everybody's head. He might he might end up in the MLS. Who, who are you talking? Nicholson um Taylor? You can't just you can't just say he might end up in the MLS. You, know? you have to be more specific and make we know who is the he, you know. I don't think so though, Taylor, to be honest. With you. If it's Nicholson you're talking, I don't think so. All right, the so second half has, has, has gotten back on the way. And war game has been, you know, has the upper hand so far in the in the second half. How the squad look? Um, you know the squad that I saw, Andre, I still I still don't like how the midfield looks. I don't know what Taylor has. I don't know what Taylor thinks, but I personally don't like how the midfield looks. Right? It still continues to be a serious issue for us. Right? I don't like how the midfield look at all. By the way, Wargame just had a shot on target. It was a relatively comfortable save, though, for Charlotte's keeper. Yeah, man, I, I still don't. It, it, it's an improvement, though, a number. It's an improvement from the Nicholson with a head across from the right hand side as Charlotte was attacking third. Nicholson would have struggled to have gotten some power on that header though because there was not a lot of, of pace on the cross, but he did get ahead to it. It was a flick on header and, you know, it went wide of the far post. Never, never looked like he was troubling goal. Yeah, Taylor, I don't like, I don't like how, how the midfield look at all, Taylor. I don't like how the midfield look at all. Right? We, we seriously need to improve the midfield. You know, the, whether, whether it's a deeper um, line um, midfielders or the ones in more uh, advanced positions. And especially from, from a standpoint of strength in depth, I think we need to improve in the midfield. Right, depth is my main concern right now from what the squad that I saw in the midfield. But there are some exciting names though from what I saw in it. There are some exciting names in the squad. Some names that um, Reggae Boys fans, you know, would be looking forward to seeing. J. Taylor said, yeah, man, few countries drop them squads. Which country may already drop them squad the other day? Yeah, I, th I think Taylor right for true, you know, because I did hear a team drop them squad the other day. Yes, that is true, Taylor. Other countries, uh, other CONCACAF countries have dropped their squad. Yeah, man, Taylor, I know you're not drop the squad, man. I know you're not drop the squad. I know say you drop it, boss. I know you're not drop the squad now. I'm just saying, you know, people in the, in the comments asking me to drop the squad. And I'm just telling them that I personally won't do that. I won't drop the squad. Because I don't think it is my place as a YouTuber to do it. I wasn't saying you drop the squad. I know you haven't dropped the squad, Taylor. It's just people in the comment section were asking me to drop it and I was just saying that, you know, I wouldn't. Charlotte are now probing in war games 
half oh excellent turn and an excellent two pass nicholson nicholson kick it boy guys nicholson has scored nicholson has scored nicholson has scored guys his first goal of the belgian pro league campaign just far guys drop some fire emojis in the comment section guys nicholson has scored run up the likes run up the likes good build up and he let it run good turn from the midfielder excellent through pass to the player making the forward run however his first touch was not the best and he kind of had to turn it back but he did play in nicholson in behind and nicholson with a one-time shot nicholson has found the back of the net guys yeah man so nicholson has opened his account in the belgian pro league big big deal his first of the season you know hopefully you will have many more nicholson on the ball again oh good try from nicholson trying to play trying to play trying to head the ball in behind Wargam's def um defensive line for the, the, the player making the, the forward run, but it was a good idea and a good try. Just couldn't connect the pass. Yeah, man, guys. Nicholson has scored. So it's 2-1 now, guys. 2-1 in favor of Charlotte. 2-1 in favor of Charlawa. Shamar Nicholson has opened his account in the Belgian Pro League, guys. Again, where a game has to has to be chasing this one. Charlotte in back position, tried to look for the run of Nicholson, trying to get the ball going on the in transition. Where can I watch the match? Man, man, you can watch it on sportsbay.org. The MLS would be good for him. I don't think the MLS is bad for, for, for Nick. Um, I don't think the Pro League, I think the Pro League is good for him as well. I think he has already settled there. And, you know, Taylor, no matter where Nicholson goes, he will still have the issue of finishing. He will still have a serious issue where finishing is concerned. You know what I forgot to do? Forgot to, to, to drop the... Yeah, man, no matter where he goes, Taylor is going to have the issue of finishing. No matter where he goes, he's going to have the issue of finishing. I mean, it was a good finish on that particular play. I just dropped the, the, the link, guys, so any of you want to come on. Forgot to drop the link earlier on in the stream. Wargame 
chasing the game. Cross into the box, but Charlotte was, Charlotte was, it was comfortable for Charlotte was keeper. Yeah, my man, man, you can watch it on sportsbay.org. The squad look good, but... <laughs> All right, yeah, I agree, Taylor, from what I saw. Boss, tell me the link quick now, man. Make me log in to watch. Yeah, man, 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 sportsbid.org. Um, I didn't see her coming. Even the player from Derby got called up for Poland. Who have the link for the live stream football? Sportsbid.org, guys. Hold on, guys. Guys, Nicholson almost got a second in a guys. Nicholson almost got a second. A shot from just outside the box and the keeper had to make an excellent save to deny Shamar Nicholson. All right, guys, Charlotte are in transition. Nicholson, you're way offside, boss. You're way offside, boss. You're way at no, Nicholson. Nicholson should have done better on that particular play. The run was on, but he, he was going way too early. He was miles outside, and so his teammate did not have him as a passing option. If Nicholson has he had held his run on that particular play, you know, it would have been very promising. Yeah, man, Taylor, I'm going to drop it, man. I'm going to drop the link so you can jump on if you want. Jump on the stream if you want. Finally, Nicholson on the score sheet. Yeah, man, he made the post the last game and the game before. Drop the link for the match. No, um, boy, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that because, from what I understand, YouTube might have an issue with that. Hold on there, guys. Nicholson coming off, you know. So goal scorer Shamar Nicholson has been taken off, guys. He doesn't seem too pleased with his manager. The manager hug him, but him now hug back the manager. <laughs> that was an interesting exchange between him and the manager. He really had the, the manager was hugging him, but Nicholson didn't look like he, he, he was too happy with his manager taking him off. Right, he want he did not want him, never even look like him want to talk to him manager on that particular occasion. The manager was embracing him and he was having none of it. Look how long I want to log in the match. But man man, you depend on the stream from earlier. You never tell me man man. But you know, you know the links are always either guys, the links are always either sportsbay.org or his goal but his goal has been down in recent times i don't know what's happening with his goal yeah man 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 if you just ask man yeah man man his goal not working i don't know what is taking place with his goal bond me see man because his goal his goal you can find more of the the rare matches, so to say, are the ones you can't find in a light. The, the one, the one, the not so popular ones at the Serbian league with, with Norman Campbell or FC Kappa in Slovenia. 
and more his goal you can find. You now find them the link up on Sports B. But you can't watch this match on Sports B. Yeah, man, guys. So, Goon Towns. Big up Goon Town. Big up Goon. Big up. Man, a fire to the door. Man, just forced the keeper into a decent save from 20. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. It was a good save, man. But he was taken off right after. Right after him just start getting him stride. The, the manager take him off. So I don't know how, how that work. Yeah, man, them sub him off Taylor. Them sub him off. Them sub him off really early too, which is a little bit surprising to me. Just when him gave him a pick up. Yeah, man. I agree, Goon. It was kind of surprising. Now, that's why I did kind of probably a little bit vexed because my boss probably a feel a vibe on, you know. Taylor, what's happening, man? There, no, there, no. Yeah, me, me did I watch it for his goal, you know. His goal is working for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the games are mm. on. I was just watching it. On, I was just watching at he, on his goal. And when they sub him off, most of the time when they sub off the Jamaican players, I just, uh, that's it for me. Because there's no other yeah, reason yeah. for me watching that league. <laughs> yeah, we, we love football, but Janua can't watch all that league, them, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. True, true. Now, I mean, it's, it's only right to see how the game was started, so we're going we're to finish it. Hmm. I, I think am Maggie, I think Maggie is in a competitive environment, bro. That's what's happening. There's players there, probably his age, who they are battling from whatever country they're coming from. If he's not making it on the, the first team, unless there mm -hmm. is um, also politics there as to where there's some of these teams, you know, where um, agents are paying them to make sure their players play to get seen. Sometimes, mm. when you, when, yes, sometimes when an agent take a player to a club, he has a relationship with someone in the club who is saying, listen, these are some of the agents who are helping funding our football. Um, behind, you know what I mean? Like they, yeah, might yeah. Even, they might even support the club through some kind of funding with them. So, so their players technically has to get played. And, and, and maybe yeah. Maggie we're, is just going off talent. Those places, it's not just talent, man. To get on the field. By the way, by the way, guys, um, Shamar Nicholson replacement, you know, just get a sit in you know, a man. And boy, oh boy, as bad as Nick, as bad as Boza be, if Boza did get that, he would have do better. My boss, the right in front of a goal and the ball end up here a throwing. Not even a goal kicking a throwing. <laughs> right in front of a goal. Yeah, it's a no. Yeah, man, we're just seeing out this one, guys, because we started the stream, even though the player is off. Might as well, we just finish the game. But, um, Taylor, it surprised me, say, your, 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 his goal is picking up for you, because me just see somebody in the comment section say it a while ago, say, his goal not working for them. No, and it not work. work for me. Neither. It's working, it's working. I got it work. It's working. I don't I have any issues with it. Yeah, yeah. But a lot of the games, like when you can't find a derby, those are on 24, um, 20, Soccer 24 HD. Okay. Yeah, soccer most of those games. Yeah. HD? I can't shoot it. Okay. I will shoot it. I will shoot it to the side. They're always on there. Some of those games that you're not seeing on his goal, you go there. Yeah. And they'll be, and they'll be there. Sounds like that one to you, championship games thanks for that one i appreciate it man because even this week i wanted to stream some of the championship i wanted to do a watch along to some of the championship games and i couldn't find a, a, a stream to them yeah 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 it's crazy um but yeah where 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 exactly you said uh, um maggie is in belgium yeah yeah he's on cassio pen yeah man, Belgium man, Belgium are one of the Belgium are one of the buckle ground them, you know, for the for, for, for the deals, you know. Young players. For the, for yeah. the contracts, you know. 
I have to go fight it yeah. down in, a, in a Belgium, you know. You see me? So that's what's happening to him there. And those Belgium clubs attract talent from all over the place. So you're not just competing with... You're, you're competing with players who are playing for life and death situation. A person have him story, yeah, say, want to be a star from him uh, five. And him being working yeah. hard, him family now have not... Like, it's not just a show up and play football. Some guys, they have improve every day, I fight hard. So, um, I don't know. I, I, I would rather, unless the development of Maggie there overweighs playing time, I would rather him even get to a smaller club and play some football. Mm -hmm. Go up, yeah, no, I mean, up a league. Yeah, him, him definitely need game time, that's for sure. He need football time, bro. I don't care how much tactical things you're learning in practice. Or yeah. training from your coach, you has to go out there and implement that on the field. So, um, he should be getting it. If I was his agent, should be try to get him some football time. That's more important, I think. Just yeah. as long as he doesn't end up in the USL, I'm okay. <laughs> well, he he made he made well. He was in the. Why is he not in Malta? Why is he not in Malta? I think his style of plays like that guy now. Um, what's the other guy name? Um. That's playing in Malta. Martin, Martin Davis. Yeah, I think they, they're kind of similar players in some. They have some similarities, you know, in their style of play. They play different position, do you know? I no, mean, different position, but they're both in the midfield. Martin Davis. Um, is there there are some similarities, yes, but they are they are kind. In my opinion, they are different players. Yeah, but there but are look, some look how Martin Davis run with the ball and look how Tariq Maggie. I'm talking about dribbling. True. When they dribble into space, True. they kind of look like, you know, a, a, a players who have some similarities. Not say, I don't know which one is more skillful or which one has more yeah. vision for that, for that final pass. But maybe Malta mm -hmm. would be a good place for him to get some playing time. I, I think he's better than Malta. I think he's better. I would want to see him go to Malta. I think he's no, better I than think Malta. Formula... This kid has actually made his name already amongst Jamaican fans. So anyway, I'm going mm -hmm. burning up the league. He just needs to be there performing, and fans will always call for him. If we hear that Maggie is blur, like blowing up a league in Malta, people gonna say, "Well, he's blowing up a league in Malta, and the kid has talent. We're gonna call for him, bro." But if he's sitting on the bench in Belgium because it's a big name country and whatever, our big name club, you're just on the bench at a club, bro. <laughs> well, I mean, he was in the U21s and you know, he just made the jump to the senior team. So well, how much did I you play in the U21? Well, I didn't, you know, finding streams to the U21s is hard. I mean, finding information to the U21s is hard. But from my understanding of it, he, he would have been one of the standouts down there. I mean, it's clear. I mean, if they, if they take you from the U21s to the senior team, then yo, you have to be one of the standouts. Yo, 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 Formula, I know. I have something to propose to you, you know, because um, I, I, I came up with a, a, a software that I use for myself as far as um, it, it predicts score, um, game scores based on certain mm -hmm. uh, um, analytics, based on time of position, how much time a team loses the ball um, on average per possession, um, so it kind of um, to predict the uh, outcome of games. However, so mm -hmm. I'm big. I'm big in 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 the sports um in the sports betting arena as well. Because, okay. Uh, yeah, that's why I analyze sports like that because you see sports when you're making certain bets on sports a formula, you don't use your emotions. It's yeah, all about yeah. analytics, numbers, and outcome. And I test as well. Yeah, so this is why you see me like I come, I approach the, the game from a different level as well. There's a different passionate for my team at home. But if in a betting world, you would probably have to bet against your team if you study the opponent and know that their games counteract each other. Yeah. Yeah, so it's. um. It's There's a lot of money to be made in sports betting, you know. I think Brentford's own, <laughs> I know. That's, that's what he made his fortune in, you know. That's what you people don't know, you know. You see, this, this, because I, I, to be, that's something that I, 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 I live a, a pretty decent life for, if you know what you do. Because I'm not mm -hmm. betting off, I don't bet off luck. I bet off mm -hmm. 
a computer, um, a software that I created crunching certain things that I need crunch to decide the outcome. Because yeah, if let's say your team that you're betting on is gonna shows that they turn over the ball every other possession, thirty minutes left in the game, they're done by one. You wouldn't make the bet for them to come back and draw the game because you just have to cal- calculate the time and calculate. They can and calculate how much time they're gonna lose the ball potentially. You can see how much time they lose the ball. Um so, <laughs> you can see how much time they lose the ball um on a, every other possession. You get what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, so no man, I get what you're saying. Yeah, so I if you're betting off luck, you will never be good at luck. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh guys, shallow I eat the bar. Charlo eat the bar. They have been pressing and probing the last five or so minutes and have been seeing some good openings. Right? Where a game was stretched at the back a while ago. Outnumbered. On the counter. Because where a game is going for it now, you know, so the game has kind of opened up. Right? Unfortunately, Nicholson has been subbed off for right? those joining late. Nicholson scored. Right, Nicholson scored. Um, what right now is looking like it will be the winner if things stand or if things stay the way it currently is. So, you know, he has opened his account for the season in Belgium, but for some strange reason, just when he was getting into his stride, the coach took him off. So, I don't know what's the reasoning behind that one, but yeah. But Kayla, yeah, man, that's a that's a good thing, man. You know, hey, me not get a nice sports betting arena too, you know. I, I, that's why I said we will talk behind the scenes. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. Be, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. Once you're not bringing in any emotions or, or thinking about luck, you can't mm-hmm. approach. Uh, we, they call it in, in sports betting, luck is for suckers. Mm. You know, like... I definitely, you know, yeah. I definitely would have to educate myself more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll send you. I'll send you the tools. Um, because it's a it's all mathematics calculation. This is how the sports betting side come up with the ads. It's it's a, it's a mm-hmm. mathematical equation they're using, and they're calculating yeah. team position, their game average, fall on every position. All these statistics are going, and then it spits out a calculation for them the um the probability of the game. So you know mm-hmm. have to now find the flaw in their probability of the game based on your own research. Mm. You see what I mean? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. So it's not like a look where you just throw up and talk about... Yeah, man. Love. I know, man. I know it's a numbers game, man. I know it's a numbers game. But I, will, I, I always I, I always bet on Jamaica still just to upset anybody. Like, I, even if they win or lose, I just say Jamaica. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would never bet against my side. Never. All right. Yeah. Uh, it depends how much money you put on Jamaica doing. Cause even in that US game, they know you're not putting enough money. Me know you're not putting enough money for that one day. The 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 Gold Cup quarterfinals. So if you lose, then you lose all it. No, you know, so I actually bet for Jamaica to um edge out the USA one nil in that game, and 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 it it um but when it doesn't count overtime, when ninety minutes though the game is tied. It it mm-hmm. ends, uh, um, if it's uh, if it's if the game is tied at ninety minutes, you, extra time though count. You lose your bet unless your bet mm-hmm. including extra time. So when the USA clipped that one goal, I knew that Jamaica would have to come back and score two. And but I didn't care about that. I more was just caring about how the team was playing, and you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just from a fan's perspective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't because it's more emotions there when I'm um watching Jamaica plays. Like you want them to. I don't know. Do you feel like that as well? Like you're on edge. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Definitely. <laughs> I want. <laughs> okay. I want. I want side. Me having a tail. I do have a club side. You know. You know what is my club side? Which club? Any team that has a Jamaican on it. So right now, Charlotte on my side. <laughs> Big and serious. Yeah, right. My right now, I'm that part of that, but Liverpool is my, my club side. And 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 actually Jamaica. 
but I also watch a lot of um I, I support the, the Netherlands because of the okay. style of play. You know, they mm -hmm. play this to total football situation mm -hmm. where they, they, they create a lot of opportunities to score, but they will also give you a lot of opportunities to score because it's an open style of play and it's like who has the better players and do we um execute better than you and we win the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what Suriname is trying to do now, you know. It's total football. It's 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 it's, it's from the Netherlands. yeah, 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 yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like Jamaica don't have to Suriname play full. Suriname don't have the players. Suriname yeah. have the players that would play most teams in Concacaf though. Jamaica, Jamaica don't have to fully play total football, but we need to open up the game a bit more. True. It's too it's too choppy and tight and rusty yeah. like it, it needs a little bit more space to our game so that what that does is a little bit more the, double d 40. yeah yeah have the right players in the right position and players who can hold on to the football in those positions hold on the one second taylor guys war game just came very very close to equalizing a while ago an excellent shot from the edge of the box keeper pull off a wicked save man wicked wicked save so Shamar Nicholson's winner still holds. Yeah, man, Taylor. Guys, yeah. hold on the Taylor. War game has equalized. Lord have mercy. <laughs> War game has equalized. Yeah, it was a corner kick. War game has equalized, guys. So it's two all now. Good so, town, say man, look woefully short of fitness still. I mean, Nicholson, Nicholson never looked that bad from a match fitness standpoint. It was a cross into the box. Charlotte failed to get it clear. Ball was recycled to the back post. And a player, a war game player, totally unmarked at the back post. And just squeezed it in. Pass the keeper into the net. Yeah. Beat the keeper at his near post. Yeah, man, when, two all guys. When, when you're coming back on um with any live stream or what when are you back on? Well, it when I do these watch alongs you know, it all depends on whether reggae boys are starting. Like for instance, this week I was gonna do a, a watch along to Bobby D card over Reed at Fulham. But then you know, when we got the, the team sheet, uh, um, like about probably an hour before the game, we realized that uh, Bobby Reed wasn't playing. All right, so it's kind of right. it hard to predict. You get what I mean, say? All right. So I'll jump on back with you next time. Um, I'm going to watch. I'm watching some. I'm actually watching the Premier League channel. So I'm re-watching some games that I, I missed as well. Okay. I, I am yeah. going to do that a little later on as well. Yeah, yeah. So we'll catch up on here, all right? Yeah, man. Yeah, man, Taylor. Big up, boss. Uh, bless up. Bless up, formula. Yeah, man. Cool. Yeah, man. So, guys. A shot from, from Charlotte, from the Charlotte, from Nicholson's replacement. It was deflected over the bar. And so it's a corner kick for Charlawa. All right, that corner kick has, has come to naught. You know, it wasn't that bad attempt. Did that hit off the post? The, from the, the angle that I'm seeing it from, it's difficult to tell. But 88 minute guys. Taylor, stop making excuses for Maggie. Why you say? I don't think he was... I don't think he was making excuses for Maggie. Tell me the score. It's too all right now. Um, that data tree, Leon Bailey, good look, boss. Keep tracking the reggae boys' progress. Yeah, man, boss. Big up, big up, big up. 
or Leroy Bailey rather. Leroy Bailey, not Leon Bailey, Leroy Bailey. Yeah, man. You know, the, 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 the only issue I have sometimes with these watch alongs is getting streams to the reggae boys. I would really and truly love to do a Martin Davis watch along. But for the life of me, I just cannot. I've seen delayed games with the player, but I've not to this date seen a live game with the player. So I know he's doing well based on what I've seen and also the stats. But get, doing a watch along is kind of difficult sometimes where that is concerned. Andrew Chambers said, waste of time for a watch along with this player. Well, he scored today, Andrew. He scored today. I think it's good to track our young players, especially one doing okay in a top league in Europe, the Belgian Pro League. I give you thumbs, thumbs down. These players don't belong in the national team. I'm not the one putting them in the national team, Andrew. So why are you giving me a thumbs down? The fact of the matter is they are in the national team, so we have to cover them. And Nicholson is a decent player. He just needs to improve on his, his technical ability in front of goal. After like up the live with that statement, Norton, big up, boss. Norton Morris, big up, big up. After like up the live with that statement, JA is my club side, but the JFF workings let me start watching things. I wouldn't have liked how top around the system into the dirt just to preserve winning. <laughs> Coach shouldn't take off Nicholas. And I agree. Ooh, guys. Guys. War game has scored again. War game has scored again. Wait, has it been chalked off though? It says 3 2. It said, oh, offside. Offside. So it's it's in the war game I've not scored, guys. It's two all. War game I've not scored. War game I've not scored. It's a good game formula, half side goal. A half side goal, yeah, yeah, yeah. No man, is is a decent game, man. It's a decent game. Or them would normally say the game has been played in good spirit. It's a decent game, man. Decent game. Not a bad game at all. Charlawa, in war games, penalty box looking for the winner. War games struggling to get it away. War game making inroads down the left in the in their attacking third, trying to get a cross in. Cross did not make it. I think, I think, Charlawa, when they get it, oh, not a good touch at all. Him, him. Heavy, heavy, heavy touch. Heavy, heavy, heavy touch. You know, if he had had a better touch on that play, the counter would have been on. I think Charlotte will need to kind of settle the game a bit, though. Like when they retrieve possession, instead of bursting forward on the... Co I mean, I guess they do want to win the game, but I think if they were to just... I think they're, they're, they're coming under a lot of pressure, trying to hit on the break. And I think if they would just try and maintain position a bit. 
try and slow down the game, so to speak, I think it would be in their best interest. But I understand why they, 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 they wouldn't do that because they are chasing the game. So when they get an opportunity on the counter, but even when the counter, because, you know, on some of these plays, the counter has been off and then, you know, the counter has been on, but then, you know, uh, uh, you know, for some reason, Wargame would have gotten back players, enough players behind the, the ball and the counter, you know, is not on again, but they're still trying to force it, you know, instead of just settle it. Try and slow down the game. So to if the counter is not on, just try and knock it around and try and, you know, settle the game, so to speak. Because there have been a couple of occasions where, for whatever reason, the counter was no longer on and they're still trying to force it. Where again, with the ball in the penalty box, the player tried to turn and get the shot off. See, all right, now there's no counter on. Right? Charlotte could have just settled the game instead of them and try to force it. One on going to an FC through if he gets 20 goals like he should, he will get all the attention he needs, though. He needs to do more this season. Yeah, man, Nicholson, Nicholson needs to, 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 to sharpen up in front of goal, man. Marlon, big up, boss. Formula, big up yourself, bro. Charlotte, our team is going to struggle to score goals this season. Hopefully, Shamar can score double goals and move from there. I think he will need to score a bit more than double digits, though, Marlon. I think you just need to score. I think 11, 12 goals won't get him a move to a higher league. And truth be told, I don't really want Shamar to move to a higher league right now. And I don't think he's ready for a higher league as yet. I mean, the next step would obviously be, oh, guys, ooh, War Game got a big opportunity a while ago and wasted it. Keeper came off his line and everything. Open goal. It was good pressure from the defender, though. Player tried to turn. So it was a throw in on the left hand side of Wargames attacking third. Excellent through pass. Keeper came off his line. Poor goalkeeping. Had no business coming for that one. The ball was played more centrally in the box, but player turned and tried to get his shot off. But you know, that was good pressure from the defender. Very good pressure. Right? If it wasn't for the defender a while ago, Wargem would have scored. Stuck to his man and made it very difficult for him to get a, a shot off and also to get a good angle. Or, well, not even an angle, more so a, a shooting channel. The shooting channel would have been closed. So that was very good defending. Charlotte was trying to eat on the counter. But as I was saying, Marlon... You know, I, I think that I don't think he's ready for the for the for the, the next step would obviously be a, a league owner or a Bundesliga. I don't think he's ready for those leagues as yet. You know, for starters, you know, Nicholson he, he missed too many sitters, man. He misses too many sitters. So he need to sharpen up in front of goal. If Nicholson were to sharpen up in front of goal, man, he would hit. If he would if he would score half the sitters that he gets, he would be a 20 goal a season Belgian Pro League striker. If he were to just score half the sitters we get. <laughs> half. Trust me, man. Goon town, Lakaku up and running. Goon, are you, are you up in a are you up in a um Chelsea business, boss? I don't understand you. By the way, both teams are going for this win, you know, guys. Both teams are going for this win, man. The game is so open. It's back and forth right now like a ball. Both teams, you know, up and down the pitch. 
it's almost as if both teams are trying to hit each other on the counter. So, guys, we are in the 90th minute, three minutes of additional time. Shamar Nicholson has scored in this one. You know, he was taken off early, though, if memory serves me right, it was like the 58th minute. Can't understand why, because the player was just starting to kind of find his rhythm. He didn't really look too pleased with his coach. His coach, you know, his coach embraced him, tried to hug him, but Nicholson was having none of it. You know, when the, when the, 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 when the coach took him off, coach was trying to hug him, but Nicholson was having none of it. Tennessee said, I see why Nicholson is starting the other forward is trash. What a man look clumsy. <laughs> yeah, Tennessee, you know. Yeah, the, 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 the second string striker right now, the one, the one, the striker that replaced Nicholson, he no look ready at all. <laughs> he no ready at all. He no ready, man, honestly. The man get a sitter, couple yards out in from, from goal, and the ball end up go for a throwing. So you're supposed to know how that guard, not even Nicholson would have do so badly on that. Monday night penalty box couple yards out from the goal with a sitter and ball end up go for a throwing. Not even a goal kicking out, throwing. So you're supposed to know the man look poor. At the same time, I have better players around him, he could do better. If he had better players around him, he could do better. Oh, you mean? But even but even when Charlotte were up the table door, Marlon, he was still missing sitters. <laughs> I mean, it's a good point to raise, you know. But I mean, I think that from you know, every every time I see Charlotte play, in my opinion, that they're not really hard pressed for chances. That was a good shot from the Charlotte player and that was straight off the training pitch. Straight off the training ground. Corner played to just outside the, the box. Right on the edge of the D. And it was a good shot, but it was blocked. Corner kick for Charlotte, but Wargem get it away. But Charlotte counter presses and retains possession but the player will is a war game player was a judge to well there's a foul on the play and look like it's a free kick to to charlawa talk about clumsy same thing me did say one time about paula one throw Tennessee, Marlon, I big you up. No, no, Tennessee, I big up. Marlon, sorry. Yeah, man, but Marlon, I don't know though, because when I watch Charlotte, you know, it's a team where they will get chances in the game, you know. They will give their strikers chances in the game. The problem is they need to improve. They are finishing. Especially Nicholson. Ten, um, Marlon Nicholson miss a ton load of sitters, man. In a ram for me sitter. Last week he miss a sitter. He could have win the game for Charlotte last week. And the man miss a sitter from a couple yards out he hit the post. The week before as well, he made a bad decision. He get a sitter as well. Couple yards out from in front of goal. Right? Take a first touch. Him shouldn't he take a first touch. Him should have hit it one time. So Nicholson gets chances, man. The man just dash them way. He needs to improve in front of goal. But I understand your point, Marlon. I do. Yeah, man, but Tennessee, the starting the, the, the striker with them bring on for Nicholson, man. The man poor. Guys, this game has finished. It is two all. The game has finished. It is too all. 
Yeah, man, it's two all guys. So Nicholson did not disappoint us on this reggae boy watch along. You know, he would have opened his account for the, 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 the Pro League this season. Didn't look too pleased with his coach when he was taken off and I do faulty me that he was get just getting into his stride when his coach took him off shortly after he would have scored. And also, um, just before he came off, he had an excellent shot and goal that, you know, required an excellent save. It was a very good save to deny Nichols in a second. But guys, Charlotte will have drawn yet another game. Most of the games this season they have played, they have drawn. You know, so they need to work on that. I think they have only won one game so far. But they definitely need to improve on that. Um, Guys, thanks for being here. We will look later on today and see. I, I would love to, to, to get a stream to Martin Davis game, a live stream to a Martin Davis game so I could do a watch along. I would love to do. <laughs> I would love to do a, a watch along to a Kaim Paris live stream game. If you guys know of a, a, a place I can live stream a Maltese League game, you know, let me know in the comment section or DM me. Ian, big up, boss. Big up. Big up, big up. Thanks for being here. I really think Paris is better than Nicholson currently. And Paris is your... But, yo. Ian, you think so? Ian. Just like how Paris are dog up the, the Slovenian league, you know. Um... Nicholson did well in the Slovenian league as well, and the Slovenian league is well below the the, 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 the Belgian pro league, you know. It's a good league, you know, the Slovenian league is a good league, but it's well below the Belgian pro league. You think if 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 they if you were to take Paris out of the Slovenian first league, if you were to take Paris out of the Slovenian league and put him on the in a Belgian, in the Belgian Pro League. You think he would do well? I mean, I know, you know. I mean, I know. Me that for see that one there, for believe that one there. Um, I watched Grantan IP TV last night. I forgot to check out that one there as well. Thanks for that, Goontown. Because even Grant, me have a problem watching Grant as well, you know. Yeah, man. So, Marlon, blessing up one one and, and Ian Campbell. So, guys, you know, we will, we, there are other games involving reggae boys as well. If I'm not mistaken, Martin Davis is playing later on today as well. Um, let me give a quick update on, on Rangers. Rangers was just playing a while ago. I don't know if Kima Roof played. I know he was on the bench. Um, so the game with Rangers has ended 4-2. Rangers has beaten Ross County 4-2. And Kima Roof did not start. He did not start, but he came on as a substitute in the 83rd minute. Other reggae boys playing today. Um, Jazeera United with um, Martin Davis is playing a little later on today. Um, Manisa with um, Deva Argyll, who would have scored a hat-trick in the last game. They are playing a little bit later on today as well. Indy 11 is playing. Birmingham Legion is playing. And Miami FC is playing as well, all featuring reggae boys. Um, so I will, I will, you know, get back to you guys a little bit later on. I will probably do another watch-along as well. Barring technical issues, Peter McGregor came on as a substitute earlier on today as well for at Vidabergs. He came on in the he came on in the eighty. It was at the eighty fifth minute he came on, right? So he was a substitute, and he he came on in the eighty fifth minute. A little bit concerning to me that the player 
has kind of struggled a bit so far to break into the into the at Villaberg starting 11. Paris is more clinical in front of goal based on the eye test. Okay, Ian, cool. Cool. I'm not going to argue with that. Eh? A lot of people more clinical than Shamar Nicholson. Karoom, big up, boss. Big up. Paris in the building. His game every day. Improving day by day. Marlon, I have seen him in the Slovenian first division. I watched him yesterday as well. This brother walk past players in a Slovenia, man. He is walking past the players in Slovenia, man. Absolutely walk. The man, the man had dashed them with left, right, and center, man. A flip ball over man head. A lift up ball over man head. A salad, man. Just, yo, the man had dashed with players in a Slovenia, man. Honestly. I honestly think. He, it's almost Neymar-like what he's doing in Slovenia right now. I honestly think it's probably a waste of time for him to be playing in Slovenia um, this season because, honestly, my breeze through the league. It seems like he needs a, a bigger challenge already, right? The only thing, and I love the fact that he is, he is putting in work on the defensive side of his game as well. You see him tracking back and helping out in defence. The only critique I have of him, Marlon, is that sometimes him hold on on the ball a little bit too long when a very good pass is on. You know, a pass that could break the lines or a pass that could, you know, open up the game, so to speak, or put a, a teammate of his in a very good position, right, to, to, to impact the game going forward or in a very good position to score. You know, the second to last game, you know, he he, he him did dash a, a defender and take a shot at the goal that him dragged the shot wide. And truth be told, the better option was the pass inside into the box. Right? So, that was the better option. It would have been a, a clear goal scoring opportunity if him did just give him teammate. Instead, he chose to, to beat the player and take the shot. Joy Desert is starting for Orlando now, Ian. I will ensure to keep tabs on Joy Desert. I I I watched him. I I have watched him a couple of times this season, you know. But he was he was coming off the bench and getting like um 15, 10, 5 minutes. He wasn't starting. That is very good news, you know, Ian. Ian. Ian, has he started for them as well? As well? But it kind of, but it kind of, Ian, hit me in the comment section. How many games has he started for them as well? And also, how has he looked? I had, I had watched him a couple of times in the season so far, but he wasn't starting those games. I haven't watched the last couple of games with Orlando, so I need to. Yeah, man. He is a specialist CDM, Ian. And from what I've seen of him, a, a, a good one, one that can do a good job for us, I think he needs to be in our national team. I think <clears throat> I think one of the reasons why he was struggling to start at Orlando is because the CDM there at Orlando was a very good player. I think he could start for most MLS teams as a CDM, Joy Desert. I think one, Orlando is a good team and also the CDM that they have is a very good player. So I think that's why he was struggling to break into the starting 11. It is something I spoke to Paris about a couple of years back. Taking too much touches. Yeah, man, Marlon, him, him whole lamp on the ball a little bit too long, man. Maybe that's why Paris now moved yet to a bigger club. But him just moving a car room. He just moved to the club that he's at right now. Because I remember last season he was at Kirka in the Slovenian second division. But now he is in he is in the Slovenian first division with Kappa. And they're doing well, by the way. They're winning games. They didn't have a good season last season. Right? But they're, 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 they're winning games this season. You know, but Paris is balling, man. He's balling. All right, guys, before I get out of here, I just want Ian to tell me. Ian, what is your assessment? Yeah, man, big up, Fresh God. Big up, big up, big up. Thanks for being here. 
Yeah, man, him score, man. Why the shock emoji, though? <laughs> yeah, man, he opened his account um today in the Pro League. Ian, if you're still on the stream, just quickly let me know how many games has, has he started for Orlando and also how well has he looked? How good has he looked? Has he performed well? I would really like to know that. But guys, you know, we're, we're winding down the watch along. Boza of all persons. <laughs> Big up Karoom. Yeah, hard work. Off the ball movement are vital. Yeah, man. So guys, we're winding down the watch along now. Thanks for being here. You know, Boza did not disappoint us. He started the game well. Had some very good touches on the ball. He did kind of fall off a bit though. But then he kind of picked it up back in the second half and, you know, was doing reasonably okay. And then, you know, he would have eventually got that goal. In about a five-minute window, he got a goal and also took a very good shot at, you know, at, 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 at goal. And from about 20 plus yards out and it, you know, forced a very good save from the keeper. Right, so yeah, man, Ian, I'll check it out. I'll check it out. And I, I have the privilege of watching MLS games delayed. So I will watch the games. I'll watch the Orlando games that he has started. And and I will, I will you know, get back to you guys on how he, he looks. Marlon said, Ian Joy has a lot of improvement to do. He gave away the ball too much. Marlon, is it a fair assessment? To, the, the, the times that I've seen Joey Desert, he seems to take a lot of risk with the football in terms of he seems to hold on to it a bit more and, and try, like, for instance, try trickery, so to speak, right? Sometimes him forget same as a CDM and him need to keep it simple. Would, would, you, would, you, would you think that's a fair assessment of, of Joey Desert, Marlon, before we get out of here? Is that a fair assessment of, of, of Joey Desert Marlon that he needs to keep it simple? Him sometimes he does a bit too much sometimes. That's in my opinion from what I've seen of the player. Martin Davis needs to move from the Malta from Malta because he's better than that league. Agreed, Ian. Agreed 100 percent Agreed. Arsenal down 2 0 Guna fans will disappear. Shut up, big up. Thanks for being here. Yeah, man, we're heading out of here now, guys. I don't know if Marlon is, is, is going to answer me quick and fast before we get out of here. One one saying, at shot, I am here. I'm not even trying to get first, so never need to hide. <laughs> Marlon, I agree. Desert needs some work, but he is clearly better than Speedy. <laughs> oh, God. He had to be fair to Speedy though, and he never had a bad goal cup in him. Speedy had a decent goal cup in him. He had a decent goal cup to be fair. He had some touches on the ball in the US game that I, I never really liked. But even, even to then, I still think he was one of the better players in the, in the US game. And I think it was very difficult for him in the US game for reasons that were not his own. All right, so Marlon look like him aga him, him aga respond to me where that is concerned. So guys, again, just to recap, Shamar Nicholson opened his account in the Belgian Pro League today, and you know had a decent game, had a decent game earlier today against Walter Waragem. The game would have finished two all. Nicholson would have gotten the second goal for Charleroi. What appeared for a long time to have been the, the winner, but late on, Walter, um, Walter Garem, you know, did get a, a equalizing goal. You know, so that's it. Marlon said if he's getting more game time, he will improve. Okay. Schoolboy defending by tyranny and the entire backline shocking. Right now, Goontown depressed, you know. Right now, going down the press, things not going so well for his side. So, all right, guys, um, I'll try to see if I can do some more watch alongs later on today. You know, if I can get streams.
to the to the respective games. So guys, stay safe, take care, and until next time.